<laughs> oh, oh, the the recording bot is orange now. Mm -hmm. Has an orange thing. That's pretty cool. Hello, everybody. Um, after like no episodes about it, uh, we're we're doing we're interviewing uh the the man himself, uh Ben Dagoon, uh uh Ben Ten, uh. Um, other puns with Ben, Ben Drowned, uh, uh, um, <laughs> I had so many, I had so many, like, that, like, uh, Big Ben, um, that, that was a good one, um, uh, 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 Ben the Thief, that's not a pun, that's just his username, um, that's just my username, yo, <laughs> Pig, Pig Ben, like like pig pen, maybe like Bic, Bic Ben, like a pen, like uh, Benny yeah. and the Jets, B Benny and the Jets. Uh, um, uh, all right. Anyway, so, well, so we were talking about how we, we were just talking about how I, this isn't related to Ben, but uh, we were talking about how I don't I, that because he was making fun of me that I can't cook. Uh, cause when I'm I look at the back of like, no, 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 you're making fun. No, but like, <laughs> I look at like Kraft Mac and Cheese instructions, and I'm just like, ugh, can I just microwave it? That's how much I can't get a job that involves cooking. No, like, I, I'm literally the same way. I, I only buy food that I can microwave. That's how bad it is. Exactly. Like, I, I don't want to put effort into it. I just want to, like, slap it in the microwave, wait six minutes while I watch my TV show, and then just sit on the couch and just, and just, and no, just eat my, my mac and cheese and my spaghetti or my whatever, man. I have a job in food service right now, but I, I still only buy food that I can microwave only, exclusively. I what, used to... what is it is it exactly that you do? I, I work at a fire subs. I'm probably gonna quit at some point this oh, year. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, so, so Ben, the viewers have some questions for you that definitely aren't from me. Uh, I was so, gonna say, no, they don't. <laughs> so, so, you're a, so you're an Asian that's good at math. How do you feel about that? Bro, um, I don't know why people think that I just... <laughs> Like, no, yeah, but you're I literally think. a. No, but 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 you're literally a math. You were literally my math tutor, though. Yeah, because I I, I enjoy. That was the only subject that I liked, in high school, except Rip maybe, maybe yearbook ma making. That was. That it was sound. Right. It sounds to me like you had a bad science teacher or something then, which makes sense because it was you know who. So you, you know. Fair enough. Who, yeah. But also, we, we had a good science teacher, but uh, it, I mean, I guess. I, Personally, I had great, I had great science teachers, but um, I remember I, like, really hated history. Like, I didn't give, like, two fucks about history, and then I got a really, really good history teacher. Uh, his name was Mr. Birch, and he was, like, because uh, the way they split up history is so stupid. So here's my American history teacher. The last time I got an American history class was in fifth grade. So I didn't remember jack shit. So I go into this, I think it was like, I believe it was eighth grade. Yes, it was eighth grade. And he goes, so, he and he starts explaining how the history classes are like split up. And he goes, can anyone tell me why uh, American history has three different classes that are separated years apart? And everyone's like asking, like answering, like legitimately, like with like legit answers. And he goes, "All of you are wrong." And I'll tell you the reason. The reason is because America is stupid, and <laughs> because we are full of ourselves. And I was like, "I love this guy." <laughs> and so, but That's but fair. he was he was really he like he didn't tell history like open to page four and fucking read this shit out loud and like crap like that. Like he literally explained it. Like, it was, like, a fucking, like, a novel. And he's like, okay, so, you know, Hamilton's doing this. Meanwhile, George Washington's doing this. And then, like, he tells, like, this, like, A plot and this B plot. And then it meets up. And it's like, oh, my God, I'm interested in what's going to happen. I'm, like, on the edge of my seat. I want to see where the story goes, you know. He told history like that. And that made it really, really interesting for me. 
And then wow. the next year, because I was at a different school, I went to high school, and the teacher, first of all, his last name was DeVito, so everyone called him Danny. And then the second thing was he was funny. Like, he was really, really funny, and I liked him. But, man, he did not interest me in history at all. It was really boring, and then I just lost my interest in history again because I was, like, super interested in it. I was like, I love history now. I love learning about history. And then I got that teacher, and then I was like, uh, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> I'm done. I, I so it, it really is It really is just about the teacher you get, honestly. It is, but it, it, so that, that reminds me of... Your story kind of reminds me of um, my, my English teacher. He's kind of like that. Like, he... He makes uh like the auto reading assignment more interesting. Mm -hmm. Reading assignments. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I hate teachers who just have, who use textbooks. It's just like that makes it so uninteresting. Like yeah. I've had so many great teachers and I've had so many teachers that I just absolutely hate because they do not have any passion for like what they do. Which I mean I mean fair considering the pay you know what fair enough but some are just I mean, like you can clearly tell they're just there to make your life miserable and some are there like you know what i'm gonna make the best of this situation um i mean there are some teachers that do have a passion for it but it's it still sucks no no no, no. but there there are there are but like i get it that every single one isn't gonna be you know the best teacher you ever had like, and i guess that like our science teacher, like you can tell she she really wanted us to succeed. It's just the the way she was going about it, it you know, it, it it was just frustrating to to like, try to work with her. There, there's like three different types of teachers. There's the ones that are like they're like they're super like into what they're doing, uh, and I don't want to like name names because the but uh just I don't know. Yeah, we can you know what? Them. Fuck it. Uh, I, I won't, I won't name names for the bad teachers. <laughs> uh, you know what, actually, I will. Fuck it, who cares? I don't give a shit. Okay, right. oh, I've already okay. said that. I was gonna give okay. them nicknames. That, that kind of <laughs> sound like names. Yeah, that kind of sound <laughs> like their Mr. Bats. Uh, yeah, Mr. Bats. <laughs> yeah, no, that, so, good. like, teachers like Mr. Stats, he's, he's really good. Like, you can tell he's clearly passionate about it. Also, he should have been a math teacher with that name, but fair enough. <laughs> um, but he, he, you could tell, like, we, I had a, I wrote a rap battle, and me and him had a rap battle. Like, that's the kind of teacher that I love. Um, and then there, I had another tech teacher that was really good. Um, and he, like, like, he's the kind of teacher, like, I was, like, the only one who was actually doing work in my a group assignment. And he saw that, and he's like, I'm giving you an A, and I'm giving the rest of them like f's because they're clearly not doing anything i see that you're the only one doing anything and it's like see that's what i'm talking about um then there's some teachers where like either it's the subject or i get it they're just not you know gonna be super passionate about it so like miss pullman like she was really good like she was really nice to me she super helped me but i mean she she's not gonna get me to like math <laughs> i'm never gonna like math so like you know fair enough i get it um and then, um, then there's the teachers who are just fucking miserable. Uh, so I had an English teacher that hated manatees for some reason. So, I don't know. I feel like that just tells me exactly who you are as a person if you hate manatees. But <laughs> that's not the important part. But, like, she clearly just had it out for me. Because on the first day, I thought she was, like, super cool. Because she had us, like, do, like, poems. But the poems instead were Cats in the Cradle and um, I think it was Nightmare on My Street by Will Smith. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. It wasn't Nightmare on My Street. It was um, Parents Just Don't Understand, I think. I don't remember. The point is it was by Will Smith. It was just songs. And I was like, that's awesome. That's yeah. cool. Um, and then, but then um, my, who, my, ex-girlfriend in eighth grade um she got in trouble with the teacher and had to be moved to the back and then one day she wasn't there and for some reason she thought i was the one who she moved to the back so she got mad at me for sitting in my seat and i'm like that wasn't me who you sent to the back and she's like but i'm pretty sure i remember it was you go to move to the back and then i got moved to the back of the class for the rest of the year i was like i didn't fucking do anything <laughs> uh 
And then she wasn't a bad teacher, but there was one instance where I didn't like this teacher was I literally like um it, I had like a slinky that was with me and it helped and it helped me focus in class. Uh and um obviously cuz I have ADHD, so I just needed something in my hands. I was still paying attention. But the teacher didn't see it that way, so she just grabbed my fidget slinky that I was literally allowed to have. I was told by, like, the principal that I could have it, and she fucking threw it in the trash, and I'm like, bruh. So I literally, after class, <laughs> I dug through the trash to try and get my slinky back, and she just comes up from behind me, and she's like, here, you can have it back, and gives me the slinky, and I'm like... You never went over to the trash can. How did you get that? Like, I watched you throw it in. How'd you magically teleport it into your hand? <laughs> and here, she gave it back. <laughs> and that's the and only thing I did, remember. That's the only thing I remember was, about that teacher. <laughs> what she did was she threw something else into the trash so fast that it looked like the slinky. <laughs> I'm like, You're that or I don't, she like... No, but, oh. Like, it wasn't like I thought I saw it. Like, I literally watched her throw it in. Like, it made the sound and everything. Like, it was the poosh of the trash can lit. Uh, the, the, I know, the bag. that's, that's part of like... the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so. Uh, and then there was another teacher who I really, really liked. Um, and, um, you know, part of it was because she was really nice. The other part, uh, which... Every single kid in the seventh grade agreed with me on was she was smoking hot. Like every, I'm telling you, like I was talking to like okay. kids at, at, I was talking, no, 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 I was talking to kids at like, at like, um, the lunch table, and like, I was like, oh, I, I like her, and everyone's like, yes, I love her, and I'm like, oh, I got competition, and like, if you talk to any kid about her, every single, I don't remember her name, but every single kid would like, if you mentioned her name, they'd be like, I would, would talk about how they had a crush on her, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, <laughs> she was hot, though, um, <laughs> but then, so, and I, she, her whole thing was that she really liked ice cream, like, if you ever talked to her, she always talked about how much she loves ice cream, uh, and so I, like, made her, like, I drew her, uh, an ice cream thing. And I was like, yeah, I got bonus points with the teacher. Uh, <laughs> and, um, but then there was one day where, um, like, I had to come back. And I was at, like, because I was in high school at this point, And I, I think when my brother was still in middle school. So I had to come back. And, like, I was sitting next to, like, my friend during, like, some... T I don't remember why I was there, but it was for something for my brother. And I was sitting there, and, like, I was talking to someone... And, like, she came in. <laughs> she was not as hot anymore. I can't put my finger on it. But, like, it just, like, totally, like, lost it for her. I was like, she's kind of ugly now. And then she, like, sat down. And she was not, like, she, when I first met her, she was, like, super nice. She was, like, the nicest person in the world. And then she, like, came and, like, was just, like, super mean to me and the guy I was talking to. It was, it was one of my friends or something. She's like, you guys need to stop talking right now. And I'm like... Oh my god like i'm not even supposed to be here <laughs> why are you yelling at me <laughs> like damn I'm like you're not nice anymore what the hell i had wet dreams about you why are you being mean to me i mean what anyway it's so the hormones, man. <laughs> it's the sex hormones. <laughs> no but um <laughs> yeah I, rem I remember i was just like I was at, I think I was at a sleepover with my friend, who, yep. uh, and, <laughs> I don't, what was it? I, like, there's something where I was, like, I was talking to someone else, because, uh, I know this is gonna sound bad when I first say it, but the friend I, I was having a sleepover with was black. This is important to the story. Okay. So, <laughs> so, um, I, I was talking to, like, some other guy, at like college and and he also was black and we, i was talking about it and he was telling me how he never had a sleepover and i was like i didn't say it out loud but it would have been funny if i did but in my head is like because my friend when i had a sleepover with him in middle school that was the first time he'd ever had a sleepover too and i was like do black people just not have sleepovers is that like not a thing is that like a white thing they have sleepovers 
I mean, it's possible, I, it's just... I I looked up I looked up why don't black people have sleepovers and the the best part was is that it auto filled so it was like why don't black people and then it was like it auto filled with have Down syndrome eat pork get acne cut their nails and get sunburn but the and I'm I'm looking up it up right now. Top one is to have sleepovers. No way. Okay, I'm I'm looking this up now. <laughs> I, it's, I don't get it. It's so funny. I don't know, but um, but yeah. So um, this this is a lot of an yeah, interview about you. I'm I, just talking. I, I, yeah, that's fine. But also, uh, yeah, I'm not getting it. I, the first thing is eat pork, get acne, get sunburn, cut their oh, nails. Okay, maybe it, maybe that's just for me though. But yeah, know, that's maybe, just maybe sleepovers are a white thing. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Be, maybe it's just maybe it's just because because black kids don't be, feel safe with their black kids going to white kids sleepovers or some shit. Well, you know it could saying? just be uh, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so his mom, his mom though was like, she was a helicopter parent. Uh, like, oh. I, I was on it. Like, he never like he came to my house and I'm like offering him stuff and he's like, "What is this stuff?" Like, I don't even know what this is. I'm like, "You've never had popsicle? He'd never had mac and cheese?" I'm like, "What the fuck?" I mean, what that the probably, fuck? That probably explains a little bit more. How have you never had mac and cheese? What the? F I, the I, I seriously had an aneurysm after he said that, that he'd never had mac and cheese. I'm like, what have you been doing with your life? Like, mac and cheese yeah, is my life, dude. <laughs> Sorry. No, <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> I, no, it, it wouldn't have made sense. <laughs> um... Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? I kind of tried talking about Black kids no, and sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not just specific to to the race. It's probably just because they had a helicopter parent. No, but it's just it. I don't know if I had a nickel for every time a black kid told me he never had a sleepover, and I have two nickels. You know, <laughs> it, which is not that many, but it's weird that it happened twice. You know what? Fair. <laughs> so, um. Anyway, uh, questions about you. Um, what's your favorite food? Um, I like. I'm right now. I'm feeling pot stickers. I don't know. I don't really. I don't. Pot I usually stickers. like say. Yeah, I usually always say like pot stickers because it's like oh I you know it makes sense like they, but like. Now, uh, nowadays, I just don't even have a favorite food. I just like, I just go with what whatever my stomach tells me. Like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling burritos, or whatever. Right. I'm feeling... You're 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 on death row, right? And you yeah. get your last meal. What's your last meal? It would be the same thing. I just think, okay, I'm feeling McDonald's right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a. I'm feeling... Do not, do not get McDonald's as your last meal. What are you doing? What if I just really wanted McDonald's as my last meal? Ben. Like, I, I could, I could be ben. feeling like... The only people who ever want McDonald's are five-year-olds and grown men who didn't grow out of being five-year-olds. No that. one wants McDonald's. Me. No one craves McDonald's. Why would you want that schlop? Because, I don't know. Don't be like the guy who got Burger King as his last meal. Fuck that guy. Yeah, no, I... That guy I, sickens me. I, I feel that. I would rather hang out with Jeffrey Dahmer than that guy. I mean, they... <laughs> they, they had a really good, like, ghost from Pepper Whopper that... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. No. That, that, fuck Burger that King. Was the only good, that, that was the only good one that they had. 
I, dude, I'm I'm white. I can all the the best I can hand I can give you is mild Tostitos salsa. I can't I can't go any higher than that. It's too spicy for me. I mean, when I was growing up, I actually could not handle like any spicy food. Like all my friends would make fun of me in, back in Taiwan. Like, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, I I was also a huge fry baby. Mm. It's like, oh, it's too spicy. Oh, my teacher's <laughs> mean to me. Oh. <laughs> um. So, so as for the um, Let's Play channel, when we first started, um, y- your first series was 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 the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. That was the first series you were on. Oh uh, my god! How, yes. Do you remember that? How, how do you how do you feel about that series? What do you think? Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, because I, 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 I saw you played it after we had finished the Let's Play. I did not play it. No, I but I saw, you just, like, downloaded it. I saw it on Steam. Yeah, I downloaded it with the intent to play it, and then I didn't play it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Okay. I wasn't sure what you saw, but, like, yeah, no. So you're a beta, is, is, what, I'm, is what I'm getting. I got gotcha. you. I mean, I literally just stopped thinking about that game after we played it. Like, I, I downloaded it while we were recording it, because you were having um... some... This, so so the series, the series that I've had the most like fun though, was the was the was the uh, Karen games, the Sharon games, um, and whenever someone like is like inquires about the Let's Play channel, or more accurately, I get up in their face and I start screaming at them and I grab their head and I'm like, watch our Let's Plays, they're so good. So that's that's more accurate description. But anyway, those are the series that I tell them to watch because the Karen okay. games were some of my favorites. Like Yandarella was so good. I like was I I rewatched our like Makoto Mobius series and I was like, this is so funny. This is so good. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. I remember the the Mila Fiore or whatever, and I got like so pissed that I had to see her more. The Rikana was so pissed. Um, but yeah, th- that series was really good. I think that was some of our best work. Um, I feel you. And then, uh, then, um, what was it? What was I gonna make? Oh, Honey Pop. Um, uh, that, that series was really good. Um. That, that was, that, that was fun. That, <laughs> yeah. I, I, we had so many good jokes for the, I think it was the, how many episodes did we have? Like, like five, I think. So four and five got like the audio got really messed up for those which really sucks because I, I was so there were so many good jokes in that one i can't i couldn't tell you a single one but if i rewatch them and i hear them over the fucking candy crush sounds going on in the background uh or more likely more accurately the foreground because our voices are more in the background which was the audio yeah. issue uh but that th- we had some really good jokes I- i'm sad that those episodes got ruined because I was really happy with those. Like, if it was a more boring episode, I'd be like, whatever. But I was really sad that those ones. I was like, no, they were so good. But luckily, we, luckily, we're using OBS now, so it's a lot better. But um, yeah. So how, how have you how have you felt about the Let's Play channel so far since you've been on? Because uh, because because you've been on since like the very beginning. Because we had our first two series. I did it with with I did Crimson Gray with with Walt Sandu and I did um, Adventures with Anxiety with Evan. I guess I did, I started off Dangerous with John, but that quickly, that quickly ended. Um, but, um, but, so you were the fourth person on, but after you came on, you were like, you're like my main guy. You became like my main guy for doing the Let's Play channel. And you've been on like every series since. So I'm just wondering, how, how do you feel you've grown as a Let's Play channel? Um... It's, I, I've, I've learned that it's not easy to play video games and say things at the same time. No, it is not. Especially it is like not. Stuff like Left 4 Dead 2, 
Like I, you, you're like trying to get me to say name DJ, come up with DJ names. Yeah. I'm like, I cannot do this, man. Right <laughs> I, I mean, I could have um, probably could have just said something like uh, Bob. I, I probably should have just said <laughs> that would have been really Bob. funny. <laughs> That's I honestly I never understood because like you watch um. Uh, my my main Let's Play channel that I watched that I was inspired by, and if you watch the Let's Plays, you, you'll know this because I talk about them literally constantly, is Game, is Game Grumps and Markiplier. And I, mostly Game Grumps. And I've never um, watched Game Grumps. Maybe, maybe I should, because I feel you, like you I should. could. Really good. Yeah. But, but so, so, um, and, and that's, so Game Grumps 1 is the reason I knew I knew for a fact I could not do this channel by myself. I could not do it. The only episode you will find of me doing an episode by myself is the first episode of the Murder of Sonic That Jog. I did that first episode by myself because I was supposed to have someone and they bailed. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> um, so I did it by myself. And I wouldn't say it was terrible, but it, it just it really fell flat for me personally when i first watched it maybe if i watched it again i'd be like okay maybe it's not too bad you know but yeah the only episode i did by myself was murder sonic the hedgehog and and that i don't know in my opinion it didn't it didn't feel right so yeah i i I, I'm, i'm better doing comedy with with other people and ever since like especially like with you on like we've had our back and forth that have been really good um those those episodes are some of my favorite, um, and then uh, and I, and of course uh, his roommate's your roommate's cat shows up to help us out. It's like basically just like an ongoing joke in our series with you now is that your cat interrupts us. Like it's just become a bit now. Is that your cat been, interrupts us while we're recording? She's been quiet today, and it's real. It's really, really it's really nice. Like she huh. she's just. He's just chilling there. Yeah, for uh, for 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 viewers who only watch our podcast, which is no one, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ben's okay. roommate's cat is like the loudest cat I've ever heard in my life, and she, and she constantly interrupts us. <laughs> yeah, she like, she can be loud, <laughs> but. Lately, you know, she she's just chill. I mean, I I kind of want to summon her now that she just chill. <laughs> but like, I feel like, I feel like if I did that, no, nah, don't ruin this moment. Can. Yeah, no, nah, don't ruin this moment. Um, you said that I think in our Left 4 Dead 2 series, you said that uh, you had ADHD ADHD two, right? You have, you also have ADHD. No, I have ADHD three. Um, <laughs> uh, I have eighty four K. Um, <laughs> no, but, um, I found, I keep, like, learning, because I also have ADHD, and I keep, like, learning, like, new things that are, like, ADHD, and I'm like, wait, that's not just, like, a thing, like, that everyone does. Apparently, like, when something makes a funny noise, and you have this urge to mimic it, apparently that's ADHD, and I'm like, what? No, like, the cat meows, and I just go, meow! I gotta make the noise. That's not like a wait, thing what? that people do. <laughs> I thought that was wait. That's what I'm wait, saying. Wait. That's <laughs> apparently an ADHD thing. Oh yeah, if you're like, curious, I'm, I'm, I, I, I I have had been di- diagnosed. Okay. So yes, and I was taking medication for it, but then uh, oh no, after co- after <laughs> dropping out of college, I was just like, you know, I'm d- I'm done. I found out that, like, I was, like, that Walt Asandu did antidepressants, and I was, like, for, like, a week, and I was, like, the fuck? Where's my antidepressants? I want antidepressants. What the hell? I never got any. So, now I gotta get me some of those. I mean, I vote, I also tried those. Are they good? Uh... Yeah, it really depends on which ones they you get prescribed, which depends on what um the uh, what guy you what who who's the guy the uh, psychiatrist that's the that's the profession. Yeah. What was psychiatrist uh, you get? 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I was going to finish my thought from what we were talking about before the antidepressants, and then I just realized I don't remember what I was talking about. (laughs) We can keep talking about about ADHD. Oh, the noise, the noises. Yeah, whenever I'm playing like a video game and that makes like a funny noise, I'm always like, um, or like Mario says something, and then I have to be like, here we go. Or like, there's like a ding sound, and just like, like I just gotta make the noise, and I'm just like, oh, that's like an ADHD thing. I just thought that was like a thing that like normal people did. <laughs> normal in quotations, I guess, because well, ADHD is the I new started, normal. When I started my job, and I I would do do that to my boss, like she, she would make a <laughs> sound, and like. <laughs> Like she would like sigh, like, huh, and I just copy her, and then she she just be pissed off at me, like, are you mo- are you mocking me right now? No, but I I get that though and because I, I, I'm, um... just, I'm just like no 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 I'm I'm I I am i am i do not know why I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't mean to um no but um I I get that because like I was my dad woke me up and like you know it's just like it was like. <sighs> Like getting up, you know, just like making a sound. And he like makes fun of me, and I'm like, dude, like, why are you making fun of me? Like, I just got up. I'm just making a stretching noise. Like, goddamn. And then he like <laughs> said what I said, but in a mocking voice. And I'm just like, dude, I'm fucking way too like drowsy <laughs> for you to be making fun of me right now. I'm not in the fucking mood <laughs> for this shit. I mean, it's it's he, funny to watch an overreact to to. to... <laughs> that and he's like oh i'm a dad it's my job and i'm like it's really not it's really really not (laughs) um Uh, yeah i don't know like if like someone makes like a funny noise or like a voice crack like i can laugh that off i'm like okay yeah yeah make fun of me that that's fine but like if i'm just like I, i just like cough or like I sneeze and someone makes fun of me, like they mimic the noise. I'm like, like what do you want from me? <laughs> like, what I, the fuck? I still, I still think that's funny. <laughs> or like, or like I was like, we were playing like Cards Against Humanity, and they there's something about a uh, uh, dying as a virgin, and then they just like latched onto that for the rest of the game, and were making fun of me. And I'm like, oh. What? Yeah, man. They kept saying I was gonna die a virgin, and I'm like, bro, that's literally, like, a legit, like, fear that I have. That's, like, part of my depression. Don't make fun of me for that. That's not fucking cool. That's, like, super not cool. Like, haha, you're gonna kill yourself. Haha. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, what yeah, the same. fuck, bro? Yeah, same, 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 same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Dying as a virgin, killing yourself. <laughs> no, but like you get what I mean. It's like I don't know. Oh, I yeah, wouldn't yeah. make fun of some. The only person I'd make fun of for that is like people who actually like deserve it. You know, like yeah, okay. like Bon Bon One Seventeen. You'd make fun of him for that because he will die a virgin. But, like for me, I'm like I'm like your family member, dude. Like that's not very cool. I'm like going through I... shit right now, and you're like making fun of me. That's not that's not cool, man. I don't know. Anyway, uh, and then what was the other thing? Oh, I was like pouring a drink and like a little spilled out. Like, I was like, okay, whatever. Like, you know, I grabbed a napkin and I was cleaning it up. And like, everyone starts dogging on me for it. They're like, I used to be like a drink. And I'm like, bro, it is not that big a deal, bro. Like, calm down. I'm wiping it down. <laughs> and, my, and, my da- and my dad's like, he's like, you come in here, live in my house, and you're gonna make my house dirty. And I'm like, dude. All I spilled a little. I'm cleaning it up. What do you want from me? <laughs> like, it's not like I came into your house and with a chainsaw and started just, like, breaking shit. <laughs> like, I spilled a little of my drink. Calm your goddamn tits. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, bro. There was another time, like, there was, like, I had, like, some Hawaiian punch. So, like, when I rinsed out my cup, I guess there were some red stains in the sink. And he gets all pissed off at me, like leaving my house a mess and i'm like dude it's in the sink (laughs) it's in the sink calm down 
He's like, you're not gonna live in my house and make my house a mess. And I'm like, oh, it's not, like, you're acting like I shit on the floor, dude. It's somewhere I'd stay in the sink. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. God. They just want, they just want to They make fun of me things. all, they make fun of me all the time for being sensitive. Which is really ironic. <laughs> like, anyway. Um... I all right. I, I'm, I'm, I, uh, for I'm, some reason, I'm rearranging my desktop, which is something I never do. Speaking of uh, making a house a mess, before we before we leave this episode off, uh, Ben, do you have a message for your roommates in case they watch this episode? They're not gonna watch this episode, but oh, what, but, but let's say they let's say uh, that they did because you sent me their numbers and I. Anonymously sent it to them. I'm like, watch this in a really like creepy voice, like audio message. Um, what, what would you like to say to them? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Play, play that. Play, play Valorant with me. I don't know. Ben, what the fuck? You know what I'm talking about. Come on, don't be scared. Say it. Say what. Say what. Say what you mean. Oh, are you talking? Are you talking about the? Come about your messy ass house, bro. Yeah, Tell okay, them to clean their shit up. <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy. I've given up on that. But dude, if you, if you, if they would like, it would make me happier. Viewers, if you want to make Ben a happy fella, go to his house and clean his stuff. Yeah, and jerk me <laughs> off. And well, hold on. <laughs> I'll send you his address, and you can go help him clean, because I'm sure that's what our lovely viewers will do with that information. Hey, bro, I will be so pissed off if someone... I don't know why that's a thing for me. If someone shows up to my house on a, like without saying anything first, I'd be so pissed. Okay, but if someone came to your house, like knocked on your door, you're like, yeah, and they didn't say anything. Like, they said no words to you. And they just started cleaning stuff up, and your house was spotless, and you're just like, what is happening? And you're just watching them, like, sweep and shit? Like, are you gonna be ob objective to that? Or, like, what Like, what would you do? I would not, I would not even love them in the first place. Like, just, just if they try to no, get but like... them, they don't them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I know what you're no, saying. But, okay, okay, but like they you don't. I, okay, you're, if, just, if, you're just like you're if, just like if, yeah. If it's somehow, and they just push I, like, past. Okay, they push past say, you and they just start they, cleaning. What if? Okay, let's say they. I woke up and that was the first thing I saw. Like, hey, they. They. The first, yeah, 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 yeah. I woke you don't even open the door. You wake the up. House. They're just in. You wake up, they're inside the house already. You're like, what is happening? They're dressed in a really cutesy maid outfit. And they're just cleaning your house. And you look at your door, and there's a perfectly person-shaped hole in the door. And you just see them cleaning. <laughs> what would you do? I guess I'll let them finish the job before calling the police. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. They... You so you let them finish cleaning. Your house is spotless. It's sparkling clean. Okay. And and they look at you, and um they they don't have like there there's no face. It's it's just like complete void blackness. But there's like oh. two like yellow eyes, like a Jawa poking out. And they just look at you, and then they just like without moving their feet, they just slide backwards perfectly into the person shaped hole in the door like a Junji Ito comic and uh and, and go out what 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 then what? my my second question was like whether or not they were hot <laughs> cuz they are in a made outfit <laughs> well i guess you answered my question second second scenario they're smoking hot what do you do <laughs> I... Do you flirt with them? Probably, yeah. <laughs> they go, well, what are you gonna do? Right, what, what, what's, your, what's your what's your what's your pickup line? What's your what are you gonna say? I mean, I probably would just be like, so I mean, what yeah. are you gonna what are you gonna do next? Suck my dick. 
No, I, <laughs> it, your line, your you know, your line should be, "Do you come here often?" Do you come here often? <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> Um, and, and then they do, uh, okay, okay, they do sign language, and they say that they can't speak, what then? What do you do? I mean... You'd be like, my perfect woman. <laughs> well... <laughs> that was really misogynistic, I'm sorry. I, I don't know where this is going anymore. <laughs> I, I, I'm liking where this is going. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the viewers want to know. Just kidding. I, I want to know. Well, are you a viewer too? You need to watch this episode yeah, later. I'm, I'm watching this unfold right now. Okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, if... if I, God, I can't do this. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. She does something in sign language, but... Assuming you don't know sign language, you don't know what okay. she said, and then yeah. she hands you a bottle of—is that what you would call it? A bottle of whipped cream, like or like like a canister of whipped cream, and then okay. she just she slides out of the room without moving her legs through the perfectly person-shaped hole in the door, like a Junji Ito manga, and and you look out the door, and she's just gone. What the fuck? I'm scared for my life right now. <laughs> I'd be like, "Hey, free whipped cream." I mean, fair. This is the simple. This is the simple mindset that I have: is that even if something really creepy happened to me, but like this monster, this this like creepy monster, just like handed me whipped cream and left, I'd just be like, "Sweet, free whipped cream," and I wouldn't question it. <laughs> I'd just be like, "Sweet." Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, also, um, I was gonna... That was another thing I was gonna mention, was my last meal, if I was on death row, which I probably will be very soon for my many crimes. Uh, but my, my, my last meal would be tortellini with marinara and, uh, Hershey's chocolate sauce and whipped cream on top. That'd be my last meal. Mm. Just, I mean, just, I'd... just, just to make the guard, like, like the, like the guards be like really creeped out by me, be like, this guy's fucked. What the hell? He just put chocolate sauce in Italian cuisine. This guy is insane. That that doesn't sound bad, <laughs> but also, I mean, it doesn't sound bad. Not... That's the worst part is that it doesn't sound bad to me. I would legit eat that if someone gave that what, to me. Have I'd has be like, any? Has any guard in the past just been like, yo, can I get some of that? No. <laughs> He's like going up to this serial killer. He's like, yo, can, can I actually like have some of that? <laughs> that actually looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's like, That's crazy. <laughs> yo, can, can like, I get like, he like dips a fry into it? Mm, That's this pretty good. I'm down. I want. I want to be. I want to be a guard so I can do that now. <laughs> Just so you can have that like fantasy. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, um. What if like a cannibal asked for his last meal to be a human? I mean, I guess they're. they're I'm guessing they're they like actually whip it up for that. him. <laughs> Do you think they would like take like beef or something and they'd like mold it into the. Sh like the shape of a human hand and make him think that like he's actually oh, eating be, a human or some shit. That'd be so cool. It's like those 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 cakes that look like you know the act the actual thing. Like those the, dude. Uh, dude, honestly, get on it, Death Row. Get on this. Get on it, Death. <laughs> <laughs> you get a patent for this. I'm gonna make so much money. I I call them. I'll call them. Uh, like like what? cannibal beefcakes. Cannibal beefcakes. They're cakes made of beef sh shaped like human body parts. What if there's a restaurant that? Well, I guess there's two restaurant ideas. One is, you know, the 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 beef the beef human hand cakes or whatever. And the the other one is 
uh, restaurants full of food from like serial killers. Their their last meals. Oh, that like a that like a hall cool. of fame, but for last meals for serial. Yeah, food. and you, you, that's that's and that's the menu. Like, you, oh my god, and, that's, and the, that is a great. It's like it's like it's like serial killer rock and roll. What's what's that rock and roll restaurant? I forgot what it's called. Like Hard Rock Cafe. Like, that's what, that's what it is. Yeah, Hard Rock Cafe, but for serial killers. That'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> so it's name, like, oh, name, what it? The names for the dish, the dishes will, uh, will be like the name of the serial killer. What, what was it? Jeffrey Dahmer's last meal? I'm gonna look this up now. Yeah. <gasps> no way, right. dude. It? This guy's my Jeffrey Dahmer is my hero, dude. His last meal was a grilled cheese. Oh, dude, what a Chad. Also, I love Google's description for this. It's like Jeffrey Dahmer, known for his heinous crimes, including cannibalism and necrophilia, had a simple grilled cheese for his last meal. (laughs) It's like so mean. It's so mean. And then it's just like he had a grilled cheese, by the way. (laughs) What was John Wayne Gacy's last meal? I'm interested now. Uh. John Wayne Gacy's last this meal. Quite an episode. Indeed. Um, he had twelve deep fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe chicken from KFC. Awesome, yo, yo Chad. French fries and a pound of strawberries. All right, John Wayne Gacy, you oddly specific as hell, but a KFC that, that's pretty good though. Also. Okay. I like that, I like, I honestly wasn't expecting results. I like that I can actually look this up and Google knows exactly what their last meal was. Uh, yeah, and, and just, yeah. just, just for complete, just, just to be completely, like, transparent here, I made sure, and that was not an AI overview, um, answer, because if it was, I would be like, okay, this is bullshit, but no, it, that would, that was legit Google answering that question. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this has been a, a great episode. Uh, thanks for the interview, Ben. We'll we'll see you in the no next problem. one, everybody. Bye. Bye.